Dear students, what are the key features of CSF rhinorrhea? When a patient presents to you, they often come with a free flowing liquid which cannot be sniffed back on bending down. When we examine the patient, there are a few features and investigations which will help us in diagnosing a CSF rhinorrhea. The first and foremost, lateral lamina is the most common site as far as CSF rhinorrhea is concerned. The second common site is the olfactory plate. There are three important signs here. One is known as the halo sign. We have the handkerchief sign and the teapot sign. When we talk about halo sign, there in the center there will be blood and then there will be CSF producing a clear appearance at the periphery. This is known as a characteristic halo sign. What is handkerchief sign? There is stiffening of the handkerchief if there is mucoid discharge whereas in CSF it does not produce stiffening of the handkerchief. The third important sign is a teapot sign which is usually seen in cases of leaks in the sphenoid sinus. When the sphenoid sinus is filled with CSF on bending down, it produces a classical teapot appearance in imaging as well. So this is the teapot sign which is seen in sphenoid sinus CSF rhinorrhea. When we talk about leaks, it is usually the fluid is high in glucose and chloride. The diagnostic test for the fluid is beta 2 transferrin. But when we look at imaging, the diagnostic test of choice is a CT cisternography.